Be me. 3.5 game. Running a dark and gritty campaign with a DM who refers to himself as the wizard. Iral introduces himself as the wizard to everybody even if they don't have a clue what DD is. Typical cringy tall lanky neck but, not a bad DM but sometimes things get a little creepy and uncomfortable. Wants everyone to get their edgelord on, assume my role as the guy who plays what the party is missing. Got a half orc berserker, a dark elf cleric, a dooga fighter, and a dark elf rogue. Need a wizard. Oh please. Bust out Barnabas Phalange, a flaming human wizard who loves him some big bees hand spells and really bad jokes. By flaming I don't mean fireballs. Typical wizard with the robes and staff and pointy hat, never seen without his disembodied hand familiar, jolly as can be and is more than happy to help people with his powers. Just one rather large quirk. Has zero concept of stealth or subtlety, wears bright pink robes and his big bees spells manifest in the same color, overwhelmingly positive and open with absolutely everyone. Among a group full of dark and evil characters he is a blinding beacon of sunshine and happiness. Party calls him Barney, he thinks it's hilarious and actively encourages it. DM rolls with it since we need magic and humor and I'm banned from playing Bard. In a large human city, plotting to overthrow the ruling lord to replace it with someone that will allow the party to do what they want with the place. Orc and Duga want to open an arena tavern, elves want to create a massive temple to Lolth and start selling slaves like crazy. Barney just wants to be the commissioner for beautification so he can put flowers and nice fences everywhere. Party agrees due to needing his help and his plans will make the value of housing go through the roof. Insists that he will directly oversee the arrangement of every single decoration. I prefer a hands-on approach. High fives his familiar as the Duga does the same with his face. Need to find people who want to overthrow the lord and won't tell anyone else. Toth Thieves Guild. Get to the building. Rogue is using contacts of guys she knows to get us around. Nobody bats an eye at the edge lords but Barney is getting a lot of weird looks. Find a minor gang lord and start arguing over contacts and bribes. As Broody Incorporated is plotting and threatening he's off messing around mage hand eyeing things off of people and dangling it in the air until they ask threaten him to return it. One throws down and tries to fight Barney. No need to be so heavy handed. Casts Big B's pugnacious pugilist, rings a brass bell, magical pair of fists proceed to beat the tar out of the guy. His buddy calls it cheating and steps up. There was nothing underhanded about that at all. Directs fists at him, same results. Takes their coin purses to cover the trouble, leaves enough for them to get some treatment. Party comes out to see two bruisers unconscious on the floor with Barney still in his chair counting coins and humming to himself. Ask what the hell just handed. Oh we're just having fun, I'm making money hand over fist. High fives familiar. Finally get a leg to the beg aka our new best friend. Vampire living in a brothel, oversees all her work from there. DM is giving far too detailed accounts of her and her harem. Goes as detailed as her bra size. Heavily implies that they cater to all kinds while looking Barney and me directly in the eye. Orc fails a check and is instantly smitten with her, doesn't help that the player was too into her as well. Make a note to be ready for when he betrays us. Elves are digging the promises of cheap hookers and blow. Make a note for them too. Dwarf is just an asshole. Smaller note. Vampire sends us off on a mission to remove a few key nobles and some guards. Different party members request different things in order to pull off their plans. Barney requests a few boys who are good with their hands. DM and Vampire smile and give him half a dozen male prostitutes. That'll do. Rest of the party is sneaking around assassinating enemies, bribing guards, destroying caravans and patrols, overall being a massive pain in the butt for the local government. Barney and his boys referred to as the Twink Squad by the party are off gardening and sewing and generally just fulfilling every gay stereotype known to man. DM constantly trying to get the boys to give him a hand but they are always politely reminded that Barney has more hands than he can handle as it is. Party is getting pissy that the wizard isn't contributing. Explains to them that he's the perfect front and that he shouldn't get involved, it's best of there's no blood on my hands. Party grumbles and continues doing their thing. Time skip, the gang is slowly growing in power, cults to lolth are popping up, key figures are disappearing, and a lot of trade is slowing down due to roaming orcs. Duga has started a massive fight club that the orc joins in on when he isn't banging the vampire which is almost constantly. Elves have a rather large cult following within the gang and have even attracted more of their kin. 
Meanwhile Barney has been given a seat in the lower council as head of parks and recreation, running around fixing up houses and generally making the city more pleasant. Party thinks he's keeping the public distracted from what they are doing, which is indeed a thing he is causing. Elves are annoyed that he keeps adopting all the male prostitutes to come live in the handy house which while also being exactly what it sounds like, encourages them to take up other careers and better their personal health. Even has a swimming pool tended by a cleric and a mage, Barney has a lifeguard chair and pulls people out as needed. Prostitutes and Bigby's construction crew are making new houses and buildings whenever the party's shenanigans destroy one. Making ridiculous amounts of money and the public is growing infatuated with Barney Handyman Phalange. Few weeks pass, Vampire is ready to spring her immaculate trap. Party helps remove the last of the old supporters for the Lord. He's all alone with very few guards and everyone is too busy frolicking through the flowers with the hand job guy to notice or care. Party busts in and kills him, there is no longer any form of government, mission accomplished. Barney hosts a party at the handy house, now a massive building with an indoor pool and workshops everywhere staffed entirely by male ex-prostitutes. Commoners take their families to go exercise and have fun. Party closed from the public, everyone is celebrating with the gang. Vampire calls for a toast. Somehow everyone is amazed when she declares that she has no more need for most of them and she will be assuming the seat of power. Massive fight breaks out as the non-dominated members go up against the rest. Use various hands to start knocking people into the pool where they continue fighting each other or drowning from their armor. Water all over the floors, nobody listens to my wet floor signs and start falling all over the place. DM is making sure that the vampire is fighting beautifully without even trying. Have gotten real sick of the Mary Sue Fapfic vampire. Elves and Orc and Dugar are all fighting hand to hand in the middle of the pool trying to stab and drown each other so they can be in charge. Last of the minions get finished off, gorgeous Mick Perfect sets her eyes on Barney. Vampire goes on a monologue about how he should have been on her side from the start, there is no way an old wizard can defeat her. Summon maxed out crushing hand. Grapple her and drag her straight into the pool. DM is getting angry as his chuff fails check after check against grapple and crush. Barney just watches coldly from his lifeguard chair. You overplayed your hand. Vampire dies in an overdramatic and beautiful fashion, dramatically reaching for the surface before sinking to the bottom. Orc and Dugar are both death, one elf is KO'd and being held afloat by the other. Looks over at Barney as the hand raises out of the water again. Barney's smile fades for the first time they have ever seen. Time to wash my hands of this mess. Hand crashes down on the elves. The next day the pool is open and clean, the city knows nothing of what happened but they know the lord went missing. Barney is elected to lead the new high council thanks to his many charitable works around the city. Crime rate is almost entirely gone, the caravan raids have stopped, the city is beautiful and well maintained, and to top it all off health standards have skyrocketed. My face when gay Gandalf and the YMCA overthrow a vampiric cult and take over the city without the citizens even knowing it happened. Them fucking... <laughs> them fucking hand and DNUs, like, you know, seriously, oh, that was good fun. I quite enjoyed it. You know, um, especially for me, because I do fall victim to the edgy boy sometimes, like, you know, my edgy boy does come out from time to time and it's hard to put it away sometimes, you know? Like, you know, come on here, I'm so... Like, I'm, I wank like fuck over 40k and shit, you know, you know I'm a bit of an edgy boy at this stage, do you not? But no, it's nice to see like, you know, gay Gandalf in the Twink Squad, I thought that was fucking great, I really enjoyed this one. So I did, um, I actually got this one, it was recommended in the comment section of, I think it was, yeah, I think it was a Barbarian story, yeah, I think it was the first Barbarian video that I did. Uh, someone said about them, uh, said about this story anyway, so, like, you know, if you guys have any suggestions, or, like, you know, do you know of any, like, you know, stories that deserve a wee bit more attention, definitely let us know down below, although I will say, um, YouTube is really iffy when it comes to putting the links in the comments, so, um, just give me the name, um, don't get, I'll, I'll find it myself, don't worry, but, like, you know, that's only if, you know, you have something that, deserves the attention because like you know like i think i love all these sorts of stories like you know that's what i did i, I said all i would do is like you know sit and like read through these like you know and i, I like the idea because i like 
to think like they really give people inspiration for their own characters and shit. You know, um, you know, uh, as the saying goes, we all stand on the shoulders of giants, and I quite like that saying. But look, um, no, I'm rambling too long here. Um, as always, um, let us know what you thought down below. What was your favorite part? All that type of shit. And definitely remember to like and subscribe and like you know click that wee notification bell to stay up to speed with any and all further videos. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. Oh, fuck yeah, this is the shit. Kill me now. Ugh. Two for the pink, one for the stink, baby. Two for the pink, one for the stink. You can switch it around if you want, if you're a real man. Ah! Yeah!